In this question, we have to find how many test cases are needed to achieve 100% decision coverage, and then these options are provided. To do that, let's first analyze the code and draw the flowchart. First line is if p equals to q. Since this is a condition, we will represent it like this. Line number two is s equals to s plus 1. Since it is a statement, we can place it like this. Line number 3 is if a is less than s. It is a condition, so we will draw flowchart like this. Line number 4 is t equals to 10, which is a statement. So it will be represented like this. Now pay your attention on line number 6, it is very important. Here we have a closing bracket, a condition and an opening bracket. The closing bracket is for condition in line number 1. What it means is, if condition 1 is trues, all the lines within it will be executed. So now it is very important that we close the condition in line number 3 properly before going with the else part of this code. And this is how we have to close this condition. If condition is true, execute this statement. If condition is false, do nothing. With this, the condition on line number 3 is closed. Now, if first condition is true, we will execute this path. But if the condition is false, we need to execute this condition. And if this condition is true, line number 7 will be executed. And it will be represented like this. So we will execute this path if condition is true. And if condition is false, we have to do nothing. So this is how we can close this condition. And finally, code will end. This is the complete flowchart of this code. Now let's analyze to get the correct answer. Here we have to find number of test cases required to cover 100% condition coverage. And to do that, we have to execute these four test cases. That means option D, 4, is the answer.